Hello everyone and welcome to Drawing with Paolo. Today we'll be drawing a character from the Fortnite franchise with my DWP logo. I've noticed that some people have been downloading my videos and putting them on your YouTube channel, making believe that they've created these videos, so with this it'll be more difficult to do that. So today we'll be drawing our Fortnite Skull Trooper here, it'll be on this page with his head up here, his shoulders over here, and his sickle weapon kind of going this way. We'll kind of figure out the background afterwards. So let's begin with a circle, uh, or an oval for his head. Just like that. And you can imagine his neck being kind of like a rectangular shape going downwards like this. Connected to his shoulders, which will be going down on each direction like that. And the shoulders are rounded shapes. You can imagine two circles on either side, kind of like this. And so the shoulders are round shapes. Everything in drawing is basic shapes, such as the face is an oval as well. Then we can have his muscle, neck muscles here, and vertical lines coming down from his arms to his elbows and his forearm, and then another vertical line. The elbows have to be parallel, remember? So they have to stay at the same height, kind of like that. Then we'll create his body lines, so his chest muscles and his side, here are the lat muscles here. And then we'll add his hoodie shape. Now this character wears a hoodie, and a skull cap, and a little bit of a collar. So we'll draw all these things in like that. So diagonal line, and we can use the eraser to get rid of the lines we don't need in there, just like this. Erase away. I'm using this eraser, which is like a pencil eraser. Uh, it's in the shape of a pencil, which allows me to extend the eraser and pull out or push it in to erase exactly what I want in the uh, thickness of a pencil, more or less. It's, it's thinner than a big white eraser, but it does a nice job as far as erasing detail. All right, so he also has this like uh, belt going across his chest like this. It's probably what's holding up his bag. Every Fortnite character walks around with a backpack. And so that's probably what's holding his backpack to his back. And then we can put this kind of skull cap on his head. So it's kind of like a rectangular or hexagonal shape. Um, and he has a little triangular piece here on his forehead. And then his eyes will go underneath that. And of course, uh, the skull trooper is, uh, his face is painted like a skull. And so we're going to have to draw that in there too. Okay, now we can put in his nose. It's kind of like a triangle. I will fill it in black. And then he's got the contour of his eyes are black as well. So we'll draw out the contour and leave a little white space there, like a little almond shape for his eye, and fill out the rest in black. And the same thing on his right side here, so fill out the shape, leave a little bit of an almond, almond shape in there. There we go. So it's already looking scully. And then we'll uh, give him his uh, the opening on either side of his cheeks. And of course, uh, later on we'll draw on his teeth. But we'll, let's put a little uh, stitch stitching pattern here around his uh, skull cap and put in his teeth kind of like this so top of the t tooth line um, and his jaw will be down here and then the lines to his teeth kind of like this all right we need to also figure out like how his hood is going to be uh, positioned on his body so we're going to color this stuff in here Redraw his shoulders a little bit more realistically using the foundation lines that we drew in earlier. And drawing out the elbow, well, the tricep to the elbow and the bicep to the forearm, like that. Just all ovals, right? If you look at the, the arm, it's really just like a football shape, an American football shape or a rugby football shape. Everything in life is based on basic shapes, very very easy to, to draw. All right, we're gonna color in this neck portion and then of course add a little bit of shading to his head here. Not really knowing which way the light's going to be coming in for the moment. We'll figure that one out later on. All 
All right, color in this little triangular piece here. Now, of course, um, the skull trooper is more or less black and white. Um, so we can, you know, play around with the tones that we're using on this drawing. So making things that are very, very dark and things that are uh, lighter. Um, really to play with contrast. So we'll draw his hand here. And the ha bottom hand is holding the tip of the sickle. And people tend to say that hands are hard to draw. I see them as sausages, fingers anyway. Fingers are like sausages or, or rectangles um, that are rounded. And there's a little bit of a detail here on top of his glove. And like with a stitching pattern in there. And then he has his glove that's kind of, or maybe it's his cuffs that are over here. I'll add more detail to that later on. And then we can add some more detail to his fingers. Like retrace the outline to make sure, you know, we're satisfied with those lines, so we'll darken them. And we'll color those in. Now as I color, I might accelerate this coloring because it's the boring part of the drawing. Uh, for the rest of the, the, the picture, the drawing, this will be about a 30 minute, 20, 26 to 30 minute uh, drawing, so certain parts I'll accelerate. Um, and to catch up, all you need to do is hit pause, and then, you know, color your portion and then hit play again. I tend to recommend to watch the entire video before beginning to draw, but you know, that's really up to you. You're the master of YouTube. You do what you want to do. And you do you. You watch the way you want to watch. Now, of course, the Skull Trooper has these, uh, you know, skeleton bone patterns on his uh, suit, so we'll try to represent those. We'll try to represent those on his uh, uniform here. Get those going in a nice pattern and, and then color everything around that bone. So it makes sense. All right, so here's the accelerated portion that I was talking to you about. Just so that we can, you know, keep things on time and on track now. Some, some of you have said that I draw too quickly, but you don't have to watch in real time. You can pause me at any time. So don't be afraid to hit that pause button or even rewind the video and rewatch it. That's not a problem. All right, so we got a bit more detail going on here. Oh, I just lost my... That's what I like about these, these mechanical pencils. You can just press a button and then the lead comes out. Uh, no need for sharpening, and that's why I use these. I'm kind of lazy a little bit. I don't like to have to sharpen my tools. Um, and so I like to use these mechanical pencils, but there are some that are not so good, like kind of the lead inside of this pencil seems to be rather brittle. Maybe someone dropped a pencil, maybe I did, um, and it may have shattered the shattered the uh, graphite inside, and so it might not be so good anymore. And so we're going to color that stuff in here, really start to um, adjust where the hood is going to be. See, like wrapping cloth. And then I'm going to retrace the contour of his head to make it a little bit darker. I'm happy with that line. There you go. And then details of his face, same thing. Just darken in some, some portions of it to really play with the contrast. Now the next step is he has this chest uh, illustration here on his chest. <laughs> it's essentially uh, the rib cage, and so it's a, we'll need to draw the rib cage, uh, and it's in multiple parts. So this kind of reminds me of the Spider-Man logo, um, you know, just in the way that it's shaped. But essentially, it's just little bony pieces like the uh, clavicle here that stem from the middle portion, sternum. That goes all the way up like that. And then there's another one over here that goes all the way to the left side. Points come back. And you keep doing that until, you know, you're satisfied. Now, you don't need to have the same number as I do. You don't need to have more or fewer. I mean, you put as many as you think your character needs. It's not real anatomy. So we're not uh, drawing how many bones there really are in the human body. That doesn't really matter. Just have fun drawing the stuff. You know. Drawing should be fun, and if you're not having a, a good time, you're probably putting too much pressure on yourself. So just have fun with it. Like for the sickle, the sickle, for example, I'm just you know drawing lines like this, 
and you know are they positioned properly for the the other hand I don't know we'll find out when we draw the other hand um, but you know I'm not like going crazy and trying to make the lines perfect just drawing here having little pencil strokes and getting things in the right direction and then using of course my eraser to get rid of lines that I don't want anymore now this is a sickle so technically this should be a really pointed part of the top um, attached to this cylinder piece here and it starts with a rectangle in the back and then it goes straight and then down and then to a point a little bit of a curve here and then back to that rectangular sheet, uh, shape in the back there and there we go and then there's the uh, sharpening edge here that we can see within the sickle itself and then the thickness of it goes below whoop, and underneath eh, kind of close that too soon but it doesn't matter it's my drawing I don't care I'm having, I'm having fun are you having fun I hope you're having fun having fun drawing this skull trooper from Fortnite Fortnite is very popular these days so uh, maybe I'll make a few of these Fortnite videos um, because of the fan base maybe some of you out there would like to draw these characters and uh, practice them and then once we've done a few you can draw a whole bunch of them the body position can be the same for every character and you just change the way the costume looks like the light by the way will become this way and so the underside here is dark and everything else the entire character should be affected by where that light source is coming from and so we'll add the other bone here other bone detail just like that color in the arm so we'll accelerate that a little bit you'll see color all this stuff in here to the bicep and then we'll do the same thing for the chest piece not very many details as far as the you know muscles are concerned today we can uh, color in or let's say erase uh, some of the drawing portion so we can better see the bones there if you don't want to do that then you don't have to remember my drawings are really only uh, a guide so if you want to draw it differently then please do so uh, make your drawing yours and so my drawings are really just a, a map so imagine Google Maps saying hey you can turn on this street to get to your destination but if there are choices of two or three other streets uh, you can take those streets too as long as they get you to your destination this is essentially the same thing with my drawings I'm giving you guys a step-by-step -step process but you can change it at any point in time make it better um, make it different make it yours alright so we're going to color between these uh, bone pieces and I'm drawing in the kitchen today so as um, clouds go over the sun my drawing changes color I apologize for that but I can't control the sun so much but I like drawing uh, with the light of the outside outdoor light as uh, illumination that's better when it's not a cloudy day all right so forearm here which will attach to the bicep of course we'll color that in here bicep tricep portion and then we'll put his other hand here holding a sickle so you know it didn't really matter where I put the sickle essentially is now I can just put the hand where the sickle is rather than try to draw two hands and then try to put the sickle between them um, I can just draw the hand on the sickle here so back of the hand here and erase the sickle going through the hand we don't need to see that anymore and then draw the knuckles you know kind of following the finger pattern here I'm trying to go quickly because I know that people don't want to spend hours in front of a drawing so I'm trying to keep these under 30 minutes if possible and color in this left hand it's his right hand but it's our left hand and to say that it's on the left side of our drawing and notice that I left a little bit of white on the knuckles just to give the idea of a little bit of light reflection there okay we should draw the bone piece here on his forearm so this is where his forearm bone would be and then up to the elbow and there should be all this stuff in black blacken it out and we can make this a little bit darker because it's within that shaded section behind the sickle and the sickle may be even creating a bit of a shadow here maybe there's a second light source coming from the right side 
that's creating a shadow onto our forearm. Now keep in mind, because I'm right-handed, every time I move my hand to the left side of the picture, I'm going to be dirtying my hand, which in turn will be dirtying the picture. But that's fine, we can use that. Um, if you've seen other, other, other ones of my videos or the other videos, you've noticed that I use that to our advantage. You know, I, I'll erase certain portions of the drawing to make it look like there are reflections. Um, and so the white paper comes out through the erasing, uh, the erasing process and gives us a nice uh, reflection to our drawing. I don't know that we'll need to do that here today, but anyway, we'll, we'll definitely keep the bones white. And so we'll add a little bit of shadow here, that shadow going through the bone sector too. And then we'll retrace the outline of our sickle. The sickle handle. Hope follow that line as best you can. If you don't follow it exactly, it doesn't really matter. There we go, pull these lines across. Nice. That's what we want to do. Um, you know, this sickle is made of wood, and so we can kind of add like a wood texture to it. If you would like yours to look more like metal, and you can make some round strips around it to make it look like it's metal. Well, we'll, e we'll even wrap ours in, in uh, bandages. This character's sickle is wrapped in bandages here. It's to get better grip, I suppose. And uh, we'll bring that all the way. Oops, I ran out of lead here, so we'll add a bit more. Well, it's actually graphite today, so we'll take a little piece. And this is how fast these guys load. Take a little um, bit of graphite, under 0.7. So I put it right here into the pencil. And then I put the eraser right back on top to plug it up, just like that. Hey, and then click it back out, and we're ready to go. Yeah, super simple. No need for sharpeners or another pencil or anything just a, a additional lead I'm using 0 0.07 by the way for those of you uh, trying to figure out what I'm doing or 0 0.7 I think it's 0 0.7 trying to figure out what tools I use I do have a tools video so if you check out my YouTube channel you'll find a video on the tools that I use to draw and they're essentially what you see here white eraser big white eraser, um, pencil size, their shaped eraser, and of course my mechanical pencils, which makes life easier for me. I color this in real quick. Bada -bada -bada -bada. And what I'll tend to do is leave a little bit of white um, on the bottom right side, but we'll see that later on after I finish this little magazine pouch that he has on his belt. Give him a little bit of a soldier look here with this magazine belt. So just a rectangle and another rectangle here to show the thickness. And then his belly over here. And then we'll fill this back in white. Ah, in black, pardon me. Try to darken up the portion that is his uh, core. And it'll lighten up as it goes up. And we'll make it also get darker as we go towards the right side here and then we'll stop. We'll just leave a little bit of white. That's what I was saying earlier, sir. We want to leave like a little bit of white because we'll imagine that there's light coming from the back of him as well. And so there should be a little bit of uh, a little bit of a white portion here. So that should be very contrasty. Cool look. Fill in his arm. Need a bit more lead. And then his forearm here. Darken that line out. And then color bicep. Very cool. Well, you know, I'm, I'm having fun, so you might not like this drawing. Um, but I'm having fun drawing it. Maybe the next one, the next drawing will be like an action uh, sequence where we'll see two characters or three characters shooting it out in a Fortnite battle. All right, we're color color in the forearm here. Lickety split. Remember, you can pause these guys, right? No worries. Pause the video. Catch up and start the video again. All right, there's a little bit of a tricep here that we can 
we want it to kind of look like it's uh, bulging out so we'll color in just little sections like this and leave this little gray line so it looks like the tricep is really coming out of the drawing there and then this is the cuff to his uh, shirt so we'll probably just or his glove and we'll add a little stitching detail there and the bandage part to his sickle over here and maybe there's a little piece dangling down here it's unraveling already he's used it so much I like this character. Or I've never seen him in, in uh, Fortnite. I don't know what season he was available at. Apparently he's no longer available. If ever you'd like to play with me on Fortnite, which I do play like once in a while, you may look for General Paolo and General Paolo will be me, DWP. I'm General Paolo in a lot of games. Although I haven't been playing very much these days. I've been busy. As you can tell by the lack of videos coming out. Well, hopefully I'll try to kick, the, kick these back in there. Get more videos going. So we'll color this stuff really dark now because it's behind the sickle and the bottom of his body. And should feel like it's um, farther into the drawing. So we need to darken that up. And I'll make that really black. Make this too really black. We want to make sure to leave this little white section here where his bones are. Those are his hip bones. And we'll color throughout the pants, leaving that little bit of white there. All right, so we're going to retrace his uh, strap. You know, he has a strap going across his chest, and it has to look like the bones have been spray painted on top of his entire costume after he was dressed. I think that's the way it should look. All right, yeah, this character is pretty much done. You can color in the pouch, make that nice and dark too. And then we can kind of play around with the background. And in the background, you can do whatever you want. I'll make it very simple and maybe not so sexy, but the point is just to show you that you can draw whatever you want in the background. I'm just gonna retrace the pouch here a little bit. All right, with a little bit of a shadow down here at the bottom of the pouch. Okay, so a mountain range, kind of like this, with grass, and then, oh, a little bit of hill, another hill behind there. Maybe we can put like one of those ramps, and we can darken that up with our fingers here, with our dirty hand, make that look like it's colored. And we'll put one of those wooden ramps that people build to climb up things, those stairs. And there are dividers here. It's kind of far, so we'll keep it pale, right? We don't want to make it too dark. And bring that all the way. Make a little bit of a thickness to it, like that. And in these ramps, there are these diagonal lines. Looks uh, Look like pieces of wood that are hammered together to keep everything combined in one piece. Yeah, there we go. Very simple, you know, very little detail. Maybe a tree lives over here. Kind of looks like a melted mushroom. Very simple, very simple shapes. Just like, you know, barely even, even. It's not so much like a cloud shape. Uh, maybe like broccoli. <laughs> broccoli shaped. That's, that's right. And we're just going to color it a light shade of gray. Remember, the character is the most important here. So we want the character to pop out of that in the background will be a little less important. Color this in. It's a very simple drawing for today. Uh, hopefully you guys are having fun drawing this, following along, and um, you should be having fun drawing too. Let's say we'll put a building here too. Let's say maybe this cliff at the, bo at the halfway point of the cliff, we'll put a, a front feature here of a house. It's kind of like a tall house with, you see the, the ceiling here, the roof, I mean, um, with the thickness to it and the top of the roof like that. And the window, and maybe we can see a, a door here at the front, kind of like that. Go like that. And we'll add the thickness to the door. I will not even put a balcony. I'm not even going to worry about that. You guys, if you want to draw a balcony, 
or bricks to the front or whatever you want to do to your house you can do it if you want to rip the roof off you can do that I'm gonna keep it very simple today and then we're gonna shade in the I'm gonna shade in the front part very lightly and then the side will be a little bit darker just to give it some contrast to it so I'm gonna darken this part just little, I'm applying just a little bit more pressure on my pencil just a tad more than we did for the front and maybe the moon lives here too very simple keeping it very very simple just circular shapes nothing too fancy then I'm gonna you know there's a few things I'd like to finish off here on this character making certain parts a bit darker and whatnot um, but that's that I'm thinking this is pretty much um, a completed drawing if you'd like to add more stuff go ahead if you'd like to um, change things go ahead this is you now your drawing you do what you want with it um, feel free to share them on Instagram that's where I am now people are looking for me all over the place I mostly use Instagram more than anything else and so you, if you have an Instagram account you can add the drawing on Instagram and hashtag drawing with Paolo and or at drawing with Paolo last bit my signature hey guys have a great day I'll see you next time another episode of drawing with Paolo